Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. For today's video, I'm going to be showing how to translate automatically your YouTube captions into additional languages and then maybe edit those a little bit to improve upon them. Now, I always make this disclaimer whenever I'm recording videos about YouTube functionalities that they are liable to change at any moment in time and without notice. So uh, this information is accurate only at the time I'm recording this video. Now, with that out of the way, YouTube captions can be automatically translated where there is an existing translation, an existing closed caption file. So I'm going to demonstrate this by, firstly, let's take a video that I haven't captioned, right? I uploaded yesterday this little video of uh, some Ibexes. Ibises, I think, is actually the correct translation, but never mind. And, uh, you know, there is, they're sitting, feeding on grass. There's no dialogue here, so there's nothing to caption. So if I click into subtitles, you're going to see that there is automatic captions, right? So I can go into settings, go into subtitles, and there is English auto-generated captions. I didn't do anything to get to this point. Now, this is obviously a bit of a ridiculous example because there is nothing to caption. But when you upload a video to YouTube, YouTube's going to automatically caption it. But those are machine-generated captions. Now, watch what I can't do. Let's say I want to add a translation in... I want to add Hebrew. So I scroll down in Add Language, in Subtitles, and I click on Hebrew. And I'll show you in a second, you can add different titles and descriptions for specific languages, which is very useful. You can also add subtitles. So watch what happens when I click on the subtitles, uh, add subtitles. Auto translate is grayed out. And the reason this is can be seen when you click on the question mark. To use auto translate, publish captions in the original video language first. Auto translate is unavailable for auto generated captions. What this means. I've set the video language to English. And it's auto-generated English captions. You can't do two automatic captions. You can't automatically get captions in the first language and then use those auto-generated captions to auto-generate foreign language captions. I'm guessing because two machine uh, algorithm-based processes would make the ultimate end subtitles too unreliable. Now let's compare and contrast. I'm gonna go back in my YouTube studio to a video I have subtitled. Um, a few days ago, I uploaded a video from the Jerusalem Wine Festival. And if we click into my subtitles tab, have a look at what there is. There's our automatic file that was added like it was the last video. But I also added English subtitles. And the way I did this was I edited the auto-translated files. I fixed pretty much everything that needed to be fixed. And now we have two auto-translated files. Now what we can do, because we have one auto translated files is I can add subtitles in another language. In this case, I've already added them in Hebrew because this was an event in Israel, so it makes sense. But if I click on subtitles add, as opposed to the previous video, we now have a auto translate button in Hebrew. And what I can do here is click on auto translate and voila, we have our translations in Hebrew auto translated. Now the very cool thing about this is that I don't need, I can click publish and just use the auto translated version. Or if I know the second language well enough, I can edit what the machine translated to improve its accuracy. One more example, not that uh, it's any different, but let's say another language I know a little bit, let's say, let's say French, right? So I add French as a video subtitle language. I can add a title and description for the French version, it shows you your original one alongside it, which is super useful. Uh, and if I click on subtitles, I have the option of uploading a French subtitle file with or without timing. I can type the French subtitles manually, or I can use, again, auto translate. And if I click auto translate, here we go. Instantaneously, we've auto translated the original subtitles. Salut les gars, bienvenue sur ma chaîne YouTube, c'est Daniel Rosil. Uh, that was my attempt at uh, remembering my high school French, but you get the idea. So we've got our subtitles here and I could go, if I knew French well enough and I don't, I could go in here and fix up any, uh, you know, 
any problems. And so that makes it a very efficient process. If I want to delete anything, they're saved now as drafts, they're not live there. And that is how it's done. I hope this has been useful. Uh, this is a great feature if you are looking to make your videos, if you're going to the trouble of subtitling your videos um, into uh, one language um, and you know that there is an obvious second or third language that it would help to have captions in, um, you can use auto translate to either just use that or to use it as a kind of very good first draft to get yourself uh, to get more captions rolled out more quickly and to make your videos accessible also to people who speak other languages. Hope that video was useful. Thank you guys for watching. More videos from me will be coming to this YouTube channel soon.